Okay, so today let us talk about lymphatic system. How is the lymph form? Okay, as we know that this part is known as arterial end of the blood capillary. While this part is known as venial end. Okay. Arterial end has higher pressure than venial end. The blood will flow faster in the arterial end compared to the venial end. Therefore, the blood will filter through the capillary wall. The capillary wall only one cell thick. And it will form tissue fluid. This purple one is known as tissue fluid. Tissue fluid does not contain platelet, red blood cell, and plasma protein. This is because platelet, red blood cell, and plasma protein are large size protein. Therefore, it cannot filter through the one cell thick capillary wall. Okay, after that, what is the function of tissue fluid? The function of tissue fluid is used to brush these body cells used to brush these body cells and exchange of material the tissue fluid will provide um the body cells like um oxygen and nutrients and the uh, body cells will um provide the tissue fluid those uh urea carbon dioxide those um unuseful substances okay therefore after that night 90% of the tissue fluid will transport back to the venial end of the capillary. But 10% of the tissue fluid will flow through the lymphatic capillary. 10% will flow to the lymphatic capillary when it flows to the lymphatic capillary it will then form lymph okay so now let's see another diagram this is the heart and this is known as artery therefore the blood from the artery ends will diffuse out through the cap through the one cell thick capillary wall to form tissue fluid so 90% of the tissue fluid will flow back to the vein end of the blood capillary but 10% of the tissue fluid will flow into the lymphatic vessel the fluid in the lymphatic vessel is known as lymph okay in the lymphatic vessel there is a lymph node so what does lymph nodes do lymph nodes contain white blood cell this is known as lymph nodes. It contains white blood cell. Therefore, it will um, does phagocytosis of the pathogens. Okay, it means that it will also it will also contain um, B cells, which contain antibody to attack those pathogens. Okay. The limb will flow into two directions. The first direction is thoracic duct. The limb from the thoracic duct will flow into left subclavian vein. While the second direction is right lymphatic duct. The limb from the right lymphatic duct will flow into the right subclavian vein so you can see that lastly the 10% of the tissue fluid which form limb will also flow back into the veins in it means that the volume and the blood pressure remains at normal range because um, for example here there is 100% 
of the blood adhere. Then it turns to become 90%. But lastly, 10% of the limb will also flow back into the wind end. Therefore, the volume of the blood will still remain at normal range. Okay, since the lymphatic vessel contains of lymph nodes, therefore, lymph is also a component of body defense system. So, how, what will happen if the lymphatic vessel is blocked? If the lymphatic vessel is blocked, it means that the ten percent of the tissue fluids cannot be deep, cannot be transported into the lymphatic vessel to form limb. When it cannot form limb, it will cause us accumulation. Accumulation of the tissue fluids and causes cell limb or edema occur.